Ever booked a Vegas hotel room online thinking you've scored a great deal, only to be blindsided at checkout with those infamous resort fees? Yeah, those ridiculous fees that can sometimes add as much as 50 bucks a night to the price of your assumed budget-friendly getaway, turning it into what feels like some sort of old-school Las Vegas mafia shakedown. Well, guess what? Not every hotel in Sin City has those sneaky resort fees. And today, we'll be giving you a look at 13 of those resort free fee locations, counting them down from the highest to lowest price. But remember folks, these prices can vary according to which day of the week of your stay and other factors. Also, we know you've probably heard this in other videos, but we promise that you definitely want to stick around till the end of this video, because we have some surprising insights to share. We're going to reveal just how much you might or might not save by choosing hotels without resort fees compared to those that have them. We guarantee you that this will indeed surprise you. But then again, it's Las Vegas, so maybe it won't. Now, let's get started. Coming in at number 13 is the Marriott Grand Chateau with an average price of $202 a night. Marriott Vacation Club Grand Chateau is pretty much your home away from home in Vegas, only a bit fancier. It's right off the strip, so you're close to everything, but not right in the middle of the madness. The rooms are more like apartments and come with everything you could need. Full kitchens, washers, dryers, and free Wi-Fi. It's perfect if you're staying a while or just want a little more of a homey feel during your trip. One of the best parts about this place is Sky Bar 38. It's a rooftop bar with awesome views of the strip. They also have valet parking for free, a gym, a little shop, and a swimming pool. The pool's a bit on the small side and it gets crowded sometimes, but it's still nice to have. The location is quiet enough so you can get some undisturbed sleep, but close enough that you can walk to the strip whenever you're gonna dive into the action. There's even a Target nearby if you wanna grab some groceries or anything you forgot to pack. At number 12 is Town Place Suites, Las Vegas Stadium District, with an average price of $190 per night. Town Place Suites is a great choice that also comes with a bunch of perks. First off, it's close to the airport and the rental car center. Plus, they offer a free shuttle that drops you right off at the strip whenever you want to dive into that Vegas action. Their free breakfast is pretty good for being on the house, nothing fancy, but it does the job to get your day started right. And the Wi-Fi is fast and free too, which is always a plus. As for amenities, they've got a 24-hour fitness center, an outdoor pool and a fire pit for chilling out in the evenings. As for the location, you're within walking distance of the Las Vegas Raiders Stadium, T-Mobile Arena, MGM Park Theatre and lots of shops. And if you're up for a little drive, you can easily get to the Las Vegas Welcome Sign, Fashion Show Mall, the premium outlets or even take a trip to see the Grand Canyon. At number 11 is the Las Vegas Marriott, average price $188 per night. The Las Vegas Marriott is located in the middle of some of the city's top attractions, giving you a quintessential Sin City experience that's hard to beat. Whether you go for a king room or opt for two queens, each room comes with handy amenities like a mini refrigerator, a sofa bed for extra lounging or sleeping space, and in-room coffee and tea service. One of the best things about the Marriott is that you don't have to wander far for good food because there is an on-site cafe that serves breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you like to exercise, the fitness center has everything you need for a good workout. And if you just want to chill and cool off, there's an outdoor pool. At number 10 is the Residence Inn, Las Vegas Convention Center. Average price, $175 a night. The suites and lofts at this Residence Inn are pretty spacious. Some are even two bedroom and by level, which is perfect if you're traveling with a family or a group of friends. Each room comes with a fully equipped kitchen so you can make meals if you're not in the mood to eat out. Plus, there's a living room area in each suite to relax after a busy day exploring the city. The hotel is just a stone's throw away from the strip so you're really close to all the major attractions. Also, getting to places like the T-Mobile Arena is easy and quick whether you're driving or catching an Uber. One of the nice things about the hotel is the free breakfast buffet they offer every morning. 
And if you're here from Monday to Wednesday, they have a social event in the evenings where they serve free food and drinks. If you're in town for work, the hotel has three meeting rooms and it's really close to the Sands Expo and Las Vegas Convention Center. But if you're there to play, the outdoor pool and gym are great for some downtime. Plus, it's also pet friendly. At number 9 is the Hilton Garden in Las Vegas City Centre with an average price of $157 a night. The Hilton Garden in Las Vegas City Centre is just a short drive from the Strip and places like Allegiant Stadium. One of the best features of the hotel is the free shuttle service that drops you off at various spots along the Strip. The rooms here come with all the basics like a flat screen HD TV, a desk and free Wi-Fi. And you also get a microwave and fridge. For food, the hotel has the garden grill and bar where you can grab breakfast. It's freshly made and pretty decent, although some folks think that there could be more variety. The hotel also has an outdoor pool, a hot tub, and a fitness center. At number 8 is Club Wyndham Grand Desert. Average price $152 a night. The Club Wyndham Grand Desert sits across three high-rise towers, giving you a great view of both the Las Vegas skyline and the surrounding desert mountains. It's located just a few blocks from the Strip and the Harry Reid International Airport, which makes getting around pretty straightforward. The suites here are casually styled but spacious, ranging from one to two bedrooms. They come equipped with handy amenities like free Wi-Fi, flat-screen TVs, and kitchenettes. Many suites also feature pull-out sofas and washer and dryers. And if you're into a little extra luxury, some suites even have whirlpool tubs. And you won't have to worry about parking or getting to the Strip because the parking and area shuttle are free, saving you headache and a few bucks on transportation. The hotel is packed with amenities that include three outdoor pools, four hot tubs, a gym, sauna, and even a movie theater. However, housekeeping services are on request, which might catch you off guard if you're used to daily cleanings. Another annoyance that has come up for some guests is the hotel's timeshare sales tactics. While the staff is generally praised for being friendly and helpful, there have been reports of aggressive pitches for timeshare presentations. Though you can book a room here without doing so, some guests have felt pressured into attending these sessions, but a firm no thanks will have you enjoying your vacation without interruptions. At number 7 is the Desert Rose Resort. Average price $122 per night. Just a block and a half from the heart of the Las Vegas Strip, the Desert Rose Resort offers you easy access to all that Vegas has to offer without the constant buzz of a casino right downstairs. The suites are equipped with everything you might need. They have a fully fitted kitchen with appliances like a blender, coffee maker, microwave, a dishwasher, and you even get a washer and dryer, making it clear that this spot is cut out for longer stays or large groups who need the space and facilities to make everyone comfortable. Surrounded by palm trees with a heated pool and hot tub, there's also a cozy fire pit and barbecue grills available for a summer evening chill out with family or friends. One thing to keep in mind though, this hotel doesn't have its own restaurants, casinos or entertainment venues inside, which honestly can be a breath of fresh air. However, if you're looking for some nightlife or a bite to eat, you're only a short walk from the Strip's endless options. If you do head out, consider taking the monorail to save your legs and see more without the exhaustion. At number 6 is Embassy Suites by Hilton Convention Center with a price of $118 per night. Embassy Suites by Hilton Convention Center in Las Vegas definitely has some perks, like the free breakfast where you can get omelets made just how you like them. It's also got an indoor pool, which is a nice touch if you want to take a dip without dealing with the Las Vegas heat. The location is pretty nice also. It's on Paradise Road, just minutes away from the Strip, the monorail and UNLV, and just a short ride to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Nellis Air Force Base and Hoover Dam. They even offer a free shuttle that runs every hour to the convention center, the monorail and the fashion show mall. At number 5 is Hyatt Place Las Vegas, with an average price of $115 per night. 
about a mile away from the Las Vegas Strip and two miles north of Harry Reid International Airport. Hyatt Place sits right across the street from the Virgin Hotel and Casino and UNLV, with plenty of good restaurants within walking distance. Inside the rooms, you'll get a 42-inch HDTV and comfortable Grand Hyatt beds, plus a queen-size sofa sleeper. They offer a free hot breakfast every morning, which is actually quite good. Not just your typical hotel breakfast fare, and the free Wi-Fi throughout the hotel is reliable, which is always a bonus. Parking is also free, and the hotel is right next to the Hofbrauhaus German Beer Hall. So if you're in the mood for some fun and a stein of beer, you don't have to go far. And while the location is great for airport access, you might hear some airplane noise now and then, but it's a small price to pay for the overall quality and location. At number four is the Best Western Plus Casino Royale. Average price, $110 a night. Right across from the Mirage and just a quick walk from Caesars Palace, the Best Western puts you smack in the middle of the Las Vegas action. The rooms are pretty straightforward, nothing fancy, but they come with all the basics you'd expect like free Wi-Fi, flat screen TVs, and coffee makers. If you manage to snag one, some rooms also have mini fridges. The suites are a step up with separate living areas and pull-out sofas. And when it comes to dining, the options are decent. There's an American restaurant for when you want something familiar, a pizza parlor for casual bites, and even an ice cream shop for a sweet treat. And if you're looking to unwind, the cocktail lounge is perfect for a relaxed evening. And when the weather is right, the outdoor pool is there for a refreshing dip, though it's only open seasonally. The hotel also features a few other conveniences, like a business center, a small convenience store for any last minute needs, and a casino. At number three is Club Wyndham Desert Blue, with an average price of $103 per night. The rooms at Club Wyndham Desert Blue are both spacious and stylish. They've got suites that are perfect if you need a bit more room, complete with full kitchens and living areas. It's like having your own little apartment in the city. It's located just a couple blocks east of the Strip and a couple of blocks north of the Rio Hotel and Casino. They even offer a free shuttle ride to the Rio. Plus, there's no casino in the hotel itself, so it's a bit quieter, which some of you may prefer. The outdoor pools are fantastic and yes, they're heated, which is a major plus. They've got hot tubs too and even a children's splash pad, making it pretty family friendly. There's also a game room, which is a hit if you're traveling with kids or just want some laid-back entertainment. The shuttle service is a highlight. Besides the Rio Hotel, they also run to a nearby grocery store. Just a heads up, they might try to pitch you a timeshare presentation, but again, a polite no thanks works if you're not interested. At number two is Hotel Jefe at Ojos Locos, former Lucky Club. Average price, $90 a night. Hotel Jefe rebranded from the old Lucky Club Hotel and Casino with a fresh new look and feel. The place is all about celebrating Latino culture and having a good time. Right in the heart of the action is Ojo Loco's Sports Cantina, which is the main spot for dining, entertainment, and nightlife here. If you're coming to Vegas to try your luck, Hotel Jefe has got you covered with 250 slot machines and a sports book to get in on some betting action. The Ojos Locos restaurant serves up some tasty Mexican cuisine and has a pretty lively happy hour that you might want to check out. The rooms are super comfortable, equipped with air conditioning, free Wi-Fi, and a 50-inch HD TV loaded with Netflix and other streaming services. And yes, they clean the rooms daily, which is always a plus. Other perks of staying here include a seasonal outdoor pool, free self-parking, they've even got space for RVs and trucks, and coffee and tea in the lobby. The hotel is conveniently located off of I-15 at Cheyenne Avenue, so it's easy to get to. They also offer free parking for everyone, including semi-trucks, which is great if you're road dripping. And for those of you who can't travel without your furry friends, they're pet friendly. Though you'll want to let them know in advance since they have designated rooms for guests with pets. And at number one is the Four Queens. Average price, 56 bucks a night. The Four Queens Hotel and Casino has that old school Vegas feel while sitting right in the heart of downtown on Fremont Street. 
They've got all the typical casino games like blackjack and slots, plus a 32,000 square foot gaming floor. And while the rooms aren't exactly luxe, they come with comfy beds and a coffee maker. There's no pool at the Four Queens itself, but you can pop over to Binion's Pool, which is just a quick walk across the street. Be warned, the noise from Fremont Street can get pretty loud, especially with live bands playing right next door. It's all part of the experience though, but if you prefer something quieter, ask for a room in the South Tower. It's a bit more removed from the hustle and bustle. And if you're hanging out at the casino, make sure to grab a drink at the patio bar. It's a great spot to sit and enjoy the music without being squished in the crowd. And if you're looking to explore beyond downtown, the SDX bus system is super close by, which you can whisk off to the Strip or other major spots. For dining, you've got options like Hugo's Cellar for a fancier night out or Magnolia's Veranda for their famous $9.99 prime rib special. Again, don't expect high-end steakhouse grub, but it's a pretty good meal for the price. And now, here's that eye-opening fact about no resort fee hotels in Las Vegas. In our research, we found out that the common belief that avoiding hotels with resort fees will automatically get you better rates and savings without resort fees is in fact a myth. For example, we found out that if you were to spend three nights during the week at the iconic budget-friendly Flamingo Hotel with its average per night room rate of $52 and the resort fees of $45 a night, your total three night stay with $21 in taxes and fees would cost you 312 bucks. On the other hand, if you were to spend those same amounts of nights during the same period at the comparable and resort fee free Best Western Plus Casino Royale, your per night room rate would be $110 per night, with total taxes and fees coming in at $45 and your total three night stay costing you 375 bucks, which is $63 more than the Flamingo with its resort fees. So the takeaway here is this. If you're booking a hotel primarily to avoid resort fees in hopes of saving money, it's crucial to do the research on the final price and not the nightly rate. Because what's clear from our research is that the assumption that resort fees always lead to higher total costs can be misleading. However, if you're avoiding resort fees out of principle rather than cost, then sticking to your guns is the way to go. Well, folks, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed this video and it provided you with a little bit of insight and assistance. Thanks for watching and safe travels.